varsity club welcome back to another classic i feel derman derman's ready to get things going for the best spin cycle derman all the way after it lost the nine on the sack rotating he's got a guy with him who else but be sure to leave a like and hit that big red button down below let's jump right back into it oh it's tough being one of the best programs in the nation it really is everyone talks about you on espn every morning they say how good you're doing that you're the best coach of all time just kidding everyone's doubting us right now says that we should not be a top six team in the nation but they're wrong if you look at the top 25 polls you can see oklahoma north carolina oregon florida and louisiana are all ahead of us right now i really love that louisiana is ahead of us but again we're both six and oh right now so maybe it's a couple of points here and there but i think we should be ranked higher so let's see what the rest of the rankings look like again we're number six okay state moved from 11 to 7 michigan went from 12 to or should be from 5 to 12 because they caught an l against the maryland terps alabama's back in the top 15 and then your last couple teams there are going to be louisiana tech we just beat uh in washington louisiana tech falls three spots essentially after catching a giant l to us what i don't love though is the fact that we don't have a single person in the Heisman standings right now. No respect to any of these people here. I'm sure they're all great, but where are our players at? I guess McConnell's missed some gains, some time out there. 14 touchdowns, nine interceptions really isn't all that great. And on the ground, Derwin, he's having a solid year. So, okay, I get it. Maybe our guys don't deserve to be there, but as a team, we're incredible. And while I'm not worried about my team, one thing I'm definitely worried about though is our recruiting standpoint. We're doing well and we're leading the vast majority of players that we're going up against. And there's some things to be figured out here and there but as you notice as we go through this we haven't signed a single recruit actually we're the only team in the entire nation that has not signed a recruit so there's some work to be done i'm hoping we can sign some of these guys sooner rather than later or else i'm panicking coming out here ready to get things going number six team in the entire nation rocking a uniform combo we haven't really give it much of a shot again i told you guys that really one of my goals for the program outside of dominating is being the organ of uniforms and i want to make sure that in the next couple of seasons maybe we upgrade a little bit maybe we look a little bit more spiffy than usual but right now john mcconnell go to work i see you all right here we go mcconnell in the center he's got his guy throws a dot rubly barely catches that one odu is a team that is one in five of the season they're not very good right now we should blow the doors off them it's just Play smart and then get out of here with a W is our goal. A little second and four. This direction for Derwin. He got misdirected and then hit in the background. Ready to get things going here. ODU's feeling pretty confident. McConnell again, remember. Gets a little shaky sometimes out here. Fourth and five. We can't kick a field goal. We got to go for it. Remember, we need to recruit a kicker because our kicker is uh bad, to be honest. Fourth down and five. I, you know what we deserve that defense is your job honestly it could have been worse could have been an interception we got to remember that jacoby walters coming off a great win last week immediately puts pressure od uses i don't want any problems our linebacking core has been incredible eichenberg again now being eligible this season after coming off that transfer jacoby walter has been sitting on the bench for god knows how long like these dudes have been playing well big third and 11 right now the guys are obviously going to play for the pass here Oh, big hit. Let's go. First sack of the game. Expect some more. And don't forget, Clayton McFadden has been electric this season. I mean, this dude has the capability to be the next Reggie Bush, in my opinion. As a true freshman, he scored touchdown after touchdown in limited time. As his return game is to be a little bit better. I'm excited to see what he does, but I think he'd break a tackle. What the heck kind of violent hit was that? He's a freshman. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You gonna, you gonna call that on us? unbelievable all right i'll admit it was a slow start in that first drive but we got to pick things up right here okay no mercy this is over to you nice little dot here lonnie downs remember he had that monster performance in the previous game he's been stepping it up major the amount of records we've been breaking recently is just it's tough to keep track of all the ones we've been breaking risky but that's how we play look at miller moody He's everywhere. That really felt like the fastest Miller Moody has ever run. Like that dude, sometimes his acceleration doesn't really get going all the way, but right there was another sort of incredible. And look at Derwin. Speaking of incredible, 12 big yards there. We'll read option coming up. They bite on it with the QB keeper. We're going to keep it moving. McConnell's looking good today. Incredible. Give the man the Heisman. I know the touchdowns aren't there, but one day he'll win one. Got our guys back ready to go. A little first and 10. Oh, you got him. It's Rubley. Rubley's been a big part of the offense this season. He's stepped it up since that game that we challenged him and he stood up. 
I will say I'm a little annoyed that we still haven't gotten that tight end or some of those guys assigned from that game considering how well rudely played but you know what it is what it is we got Durbin in the end zone first touchdown which should have happened a long time ago we got it more to come all right let's see what our guys can do here playing for the pass the whole way probably should have played for the read option which is absolutely what they're doing big hit on Hayden Wolf and then Stroop comes in and cleans him up after five. Oh, we got our guys all over the place right now we're bringing Kirk over so we can at least cover this guy I do that and then he moves over so we've been we've been fine regardless the QB keeper again this quarterback's uh he's trying it all right no shot they run it again here so we're gonna play for the short intermediate pass they go with the halfback screen we got guys they're all day he broke the tackle okay then Lala Davis got his first tackle I mean excuse me first reception of the game goes for 11 yards it's a big first down broke multiple tackles oh now they're feeling confident this, lala is feeling super confident stiff on our entire team for 20 yards I'm trying to find something to stop them right now this is not the odu we expected to see today but it came to play what a hit by kirk press covering a little bit here watch the middle with jacoby walters qb's all by himself so we're gonna watch him he fakes out a little bit walton though ready to wrap him up big tackle big play coming up again we're watching Trying to get pressure on the QB. We almost got it. Then Anderson does get the sack. Second one of the game. Let's go, big fella. So ODU comes out. They have to punt the ball. And well, we're sitting here at the 20-yard line after a touchback. Ready to get things going. One second left here in the first half. McConnell gets sacked. And now we get a loss of nine. We tried our best to break out of that one. But there was honestly no shot of that. They were ready to get things going. McConnell again trying things. He's got this guy out of the backfield. Derwin. Derwin's ready to get things going. Put him in a spin cycle, Derwin. Derwin out here breaking ankles. Marvin Derwin is going to go all the way after a loss of nine on the sack. Derwin, excuse me. I got moves for days. You better get ready. That is the single worst exhibition of tackling I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know what ODU was trying to do, but it was not tackling Marvin Derwin. Derwin just went to the house. You talk about Heisman? That's a Heisman S play right there. Look at Eichenberg, though. Trying to get himself an award as well. Keep things going again. We're pinching the line. They've been going a lot with this sort of misdirection run, and it kind of works, but. This man jumped over our fallen defender and then fell down. Big third down to seven here. Watching the halfback out of the backfield. It's been one of their main places to go. Look at Philip Antonio. No Philip Antonio slander. Big time players make big time plays. Look, let's be honest. ODU came out in that first drive and I got a little nervous. I'm like, wait a second. This team's one in five, but they're playing kind of well. This is the ODU team we expected to see today. I expect a lot of our backups to get in and play a considerable amount after our starters put up a 50 or 40 burger. Second and short. A little close here, and Miller Moody drops an easy one. Well, I'm annoyed that Miller Moody dropped that. A guy that just transitioned to season two will go from running back to receiver. Those plays are unfortunately going to happen. We're going to send McFadden here in a streak route. We didn't attempt to catch. We tried once and fourth down. It didn't work. We're going to try again because we don't want to punt, and we're honestly out of field goal range so here we go hours in motion four yards for the first you know what time it is mcconnell picking up blocks and picking up more yards the 15 yard line now we're money once we get in the red zone let's see what we can do here mcconnell feeling that pressure he's rotating he's got a guy with him who else but mike oliver another one i mean look we have one of the best quarterbacks in the nation they're not giving him enough respect we have one of the best QBs in the nation. We're letting ODU know today. If you're a fan of ODU or that's your alma mater, I'm sorry for what's happening to you right now. I genuinely am sorry. It's not looking good for you. A lot of what we're doing in today's game is because we're getting disrespected in the polls. They're literally putting us as the number six team behind Louisiana. Nah, we should be the top team above them. And everyone in the nation knows that except for apparently the vote getters. So let's prove it today. One thing we're seeing though is that mobile quarterbacks still kill us, man. The read options, we struggle against them dominate us time and time again that's one area that we still haven't gotten better at but i will say we get some of these recruits that we're ultimately targeting right now especially in the defensive line we'll be a much better run defensive team going into next season that i can promise you playing for the pass here there was probably a run they go up the middle again walton's ready to go great walton's having a great first half by the way four tackles one for a loss man's always killing it even as a redshirt freshman he's been stepping up big Eichenberg with a big tackle there on Wolf for playing again for the pass here. Third and 10, no shot. They're going for a run. If they do, it's pretty much going to be over for him. What a hit by Walden, but you can pick that off and take it to the house next time, okay? Your quarterback is five for eight for 11 yards and an interception. I can't say I've ever seen that stat line before. Like, that's 
That's a different stat line, and their kicker probably just lost his scholarship. We're already up 21 0. We got plenty of time before the second half starts, and we're trying to put in some more work here. Connell with a nice little move. He's seeing the guy, he's got him deep. He finds him, and Dawkins picks up a big gain. 212 yards on seven completed passes for our QB. It's wild. It genuinely is. Oh, no. That should have probably could have been picked. Dawkins actually has a bruise starting him after catching that ball across the middle earlier, so we're not going to see him for a few. It's unfortunate. You never want your guys to get hurt, especially in a game like this, but this is a game that we can afford to have him out for sure. First and 10. Almost two minutes left here in the first half. Oh, big hit on McConnell. We try to go to the outside, but... They were ready for it. Going right back at him here. A little play action. Close. And Mike Oliver dropped it. How do you drop that? Third and so many yards that I honestly don't even want to count them. The pressure is on McConnell. We just got to get rid of it. Take our losses. Punt it. That was a terrible drive all the way around. All right. Let's see if we can stop them here and just go into the half with some more points. I just want to make sure we get either a defensive touchdown or another offensive one. And Eichenberg just lit up Hayden Wolf. I mean, lift that dude up. But at the end of the day, lighting up a quarterback doesn't do anything if you're getting to him late and he still completes the pass for 10, 11 yards. We got to do better. They go again to the out routes and they're taking it a couple of yards at a time. Bring a little blitz here. Second is short. Minute and 20 some. We almost got, I mean, we had everyone there. We nearly got the pick after that. A little nervous about how far some of these guys have to travel. They go again to the short routes. I mean, we're giving them that the entirety of the time, but that's going to be hard to score off that. Walton already with two tackles on this drive that puts him at six so far in the afternoon. And if I've left, bringing a guy over to the right-hand side, checking if we're in man or zone. I mean, this dude's taking off, and who else is there but Mr. Walton? Second and 11, under a minute now. They did call a timeout. The coach is trying to light a fire, and either of them, and again, it's just their QB messing up time and time again. Carroll with another sack. Third and 15 now. They're trying to run a hurry-up offense. They don't want to waste their two timeouts, but... I think they're kind of in shambles right now. We got a little bit of a hit on Savage, makes it four and one. We got 27 seconds after that punt. We got some time. We put some points on the board. I mean, possibly, maybe, you never know. That was close, Mike Oliver. A shoestring, a shoestring saved that. 231 plus yards. We got one timeout left. I'm going to put Miller Moody on a street route, man. I don't know if they can keep up with him. Safety drive back a little bit. I feel like they kind of knew what was coming up. An absolute dot to Dawkins, and he... If we kept going, that's a touchdown. We didn't need to run out of bounds. We were trying to save the clock. 250-plus pass yards on ODU right now for our guys. This is unreal. It's absolutely unreal how good McConnell's playing so far. No, that's right on the safety. That was close. We honestly thought we had him. It just wasn't meant to be there. Let's see what we've got. It's close. Oliver has it and drops it with five seconds left. We really have no business trying this hard against ODU already up 21-0 to put more points on the board, but that's what we do. Donald's back. He's got a guy. This is going to be close. Dawkins has a step on him and Dawkins is going to get it. If you're an ODU fan, I'm sorry. If you went to their school or teach at their school, I'm sorry. If you play to their football team, transfer because we're doing it again next year i mean any moral victory their coach is hoping to have just went out the window at that point what an absolute dot from mcconnell for Melo dawkins who we told to sit out this game he said nah coach i'm trying to get some of these points too i don't blame him i don't blame him odu trying to drive a little bit watching the out routes but it doesn't matter man they are finding these left and right watching their guys a little bit more closely here some press coverage across the board. It's like a halfback screen. Walters nearly could have picked that off. If he jumped, he's got that, but he didn't jump. I don't want our guys feeling sorry for ODU. I don't want them feeling sorry at all. I want them realizing that these dudes could have come to our school, but they chose to go elsewhere, and that's on them. What a delayed tight end scene that we didn't even see. I got it again here. I'm going to try to stop ODU. I don't want them to score at all, and apparently their quarterback doesn't either. This has been one of their longest drives, though. They have struggled to put things together, but look, nine plays deep. They're on the doorstep. Can they put points on the board? That's what their fans and alumni want to know, but how did he get that pass off? I'm confused. Second sack of the game for Thomas Carroll, but I'm still confused how we had a sack and that man threw the ball up. It makes no sense, but you know what it is what it is. 
Eichenberg watch in the middle. I mean, Houston, what are we doing here? Someone, Antonio, Houston, one of you guys has to step up. You cannot let them have that pass. What are we doing? We we're in cover four there. I assume those guys would just ride the route the entire way up on the edge, but apparently we were wrong. Antonio, though, with a big grab at the end. Big play here. We're watching the run. We want to obviously go to the outside. It doesn't matter. We let ODU score. Laps for everyone. What are we doing? We're going to let our starters play out the rest of this quarter, assuming we get another touchdown or so, and we're going to bring in probably a lot of our backups at this point. We don't want to risk anyone getting hurt. We've got bigger dreams than just blowing out ODU. We do. That being said, we got a couple of guys that are doing something special right now, and I want them to, you know, prosper off that. Send Alani down deep. That might be more risky than I wanted it to. How did he catch that? I'm going to be honest. That's a... I mean, even for Lonnie Downs, it's a heck of a catch. I'm blown away. Dawkins coming in motion here. They they were ready. This man's already been injured once. I don't want to have it happen twice. I mean, I get their frustration, though. We got our starters in. We're out here passing on them when we have a massive lead. I 100% get it, but I don't care. Romello Dawkins says, excuse me. Scored the last touchdown. Why not score another one? That pass gives McConnell 365 pass yards on the afternoon. I believe his record is about 400-ish. We're going to try to break that today. It's 100% true. Watch the running back out of the backfield. Their QB's out here scrambling, and he slid because he knew what was going to happen if Jacoby Walters hit him. Press coverage, bringing a little bit of a blitz here. A lot of pressure on him, and Conley was a little bit behind on getting to that one. Wolf again, staying his shotgun. They're trying their best to make something happen here. This man's going to run it again, and Walters is ready. And look, Walters wanted to get hit on him because last time he slid, but unfortunately, that's a late hit. It'll be a personal foul, and... Oh, wait, holding on the offense? Just kidding. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. We definitely hit their quarterback late. They didn't call it, so... Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> they bailed us out. I mean, dude, this dude will not stop running. How is he still alive? The reason the ice baths were made were for what their quarterback's feeling right now. He cannot be happy with how this is going. He's running again. He fumbled. I was going to say, where's that at? Eichenberg running the wrong way. Does he have a concussion? We're going to take the ball in the middle of the field. That's only the second turnover we forced today. It should have been more. Donald's been absolutely dicing up people left and right today. We're seeing what he can do here. At it again. He's got Miller Moody, Miller Moody, middle of the field for 20 more yards. He definitely neglected Marvin Derwin today. He's been great in the passing game. We just have only run it like five or six times with him today. So honestly, we should do better. What a block there. Derwin keeping it moving. I see you, young fella, fighting for the first down. It should have been a first down, in my opinion. Derwin has two grabs for 99 yards. What an incredible game for him today. Turner, we're putting him on a straight seam route. That was more dicey than it should have been. 30 inches, McConnell so close though to 400 yards pass. We want him to hit that today. The nation put some respect on his name. He's got a guy, and apparently he plays on the other team. James is not friendly. First turnover today. It's honestly karma. Does that mean we're gonna stop passing? Absolutely not. Third quarter's winding down. We'll keep McConnell in for one more drive after this. Eichenberg just killed a man. Killed a man. I don't really know why ODU is running the ball other than just to end this game sooner rather than later, but they almost got their running back killed because of that. And their quarterback still taking hits. Third and 10, got to imagine we're seeing the passing down here. Eichenberg and company are ready to get things going. Their last drive before we get them up off the field. And apparently this drive's going to be longer than we thought. Eichenberg with a great tackle, but ODU is still keeping the dream going. Trying to crush ODU's dreams right now. the fumble McNeil's gonna pick that one up and we got the ball just right back with about 35 yards left this is the last drive we're gonna see our starters we need McConnell to get these yards so we can get him up out of here safely there's Dermot ready to go he picks up what looks to be about eight 403 yards four touchdowns one pick the pick definitely tarnishes things a little bit but I mean he still had a phenomenal game today hours back in motion play action here all the time in the world. He's got Miller Moody wide open. Miller Moody's going to force his way down to the five yard line on a 20 yard grab for another big game. Big time players and big time plays. And hopefully those players are on our team and not ODU's right now. Here's McConnell. 
Taking a really bad sack for a loss of 11. Big play here. Looks like man defense. We might have an option here with Moody. Oh, it's actually zone. Moody was so close to getting in the end zone. That actually is going to break the school passing record. 437 yards for John O'Connell. Previously at 428, so we're a little bit off, but man got the job done. One for five on third down conversions, which is insane to think about. But we're going to try to get that touchdown here. Should be number five on the game. Miller Moody, who should have had one earlier. There we go. He's going to tie his passing touchdown record. We're going to take him out, though, because we need, again, McConnell healthy for the rest of the year. He's taking a lot of hits this season, but I wanted him to have a great game. Backups are officially in the game, even though I'm seeing Eichenberg and company out here still. I don't, we put offense and defense in, but I'm still seeing the starters on defense in, so I'm honestly confused as to what's happening. Okay, whatever it is, I think we got it to work now. Now our backups are in, so we can get these guys some extra playing time and see how they do. Kind of a look at what we'll have for next season, the year after. Look at a big hit by Anthony. We've also noticed that Wolf hasn't really run a lot recently. I guess he's tired of getting hit like he's been hit so far today. Goes a short one. Hatley's going to try to get him. Hatley pushes him out of bounds, only gets a first. No passing touchdowns yet for ODU. They desperately want to try to get another one on the board. 41-7 to seven is not looking pretty good for them, and we're definitely going to try to hit 50 tonight. Hatley's going to watch him. Anthony's going to watch the running back this time. The quarterback takes off, and Oliver's there to get the sack. Or, excuse me, the tackle. Second now, eight yards to go. A halfback draw. Can't see I saw that coming. First down, Wolf all by his lonesome. Watching this man like a hawk, but he's going nowhere this time. Big sack yet again. Paul McCree getting the sack on that one. First time we've seen him get involved today. Second unit still putting in major work. Hadley and company get a big hit there. It's all but over from here on out. I mean, ODU is five for 10 on third down conversions today. We're like two for six or something. They're doing significantly better than we are there. You go underneath. Hadley watches that go right by his face, but it's still fourth and 11. Honestly, as I expected, they're going forward. Fourth and 11, you're down major. This is all just for pride at this point. I don't blame them one bit. They go over there, but Mr. Hall is ready. Class is a session for him. The backups in the game, we're obviously going to try to get him a little bit of, you know, burn here and there, but we're still going to pass for sure because that's what we do. Joe Johnson in. This man has struggled throughout his career, but he's getting some opportunities now. Again, I know some of you love Jojo Johnson and his transition from quarterback to running back hasn't been as great as you might have thought, but it's just Marvin Derwin is significantly better. I, I'm saying that, but Jojo just ran through like three people to make a 14 yard rush, but Marvin's just a little bit better. And let's not act like Marvin Derwin didn't just have a crazy rush or excuse me, like a 60, 70 yard play today where he just went absolutely ham. It was running people over, juking them out of their shoes, breaking ankles left and right. There's talent on both guys. Second and inches, Rocco Green under center. Big play here to Trey Swain, the big fella with a nasty stiff arm. This may could honestly be starting. We just have a lot of depth of receiver. I'm just telling you, when Trey Swain's able to play next year, if he has a good offseason and can get that speed up a little bit, man is going to be an absolute monster. He's like 6'5", 6'6". The man catches everything. Almost 600 yards total offense today. We have been dominating without a doubt. McFadden is going to be in motion here. Running back out of the backfield, Joe Joe Johnson. No one wanted to dap the man up. The man deserves it. Okay, someone dap him up, please. I feel bad for him. We walked out here with a massive W. We beat a divisional opponent, a rival of some sorts, and we dominated. McConnell had 439 pass yards, five touchdowns, and 29 rush yards. ODU had one touchdown. And a lot of players that are nursing some bruises right now. Recap of the player stats today. Rocco Green had two passes today. He gets one touchdown out of it. McConnell 18 to 28 for five touchdowns and one interception. Both guys looked stupendous today. On the ground, McConnell 9 for 29. We see Dermot go 6 for 26. It's a touchdown as well. Jojo Johnson, 25. Rocco Green at 10. Romello Dawkins, one concussion. In the air, Miller Moody, 5 for 78 in touchdown. Romello Dawkins, 4 for 117 with two touchdowns. Marvin Derwin again, 3 for 107. And the craziest touchdown in the 89-yarder. That was wild. Lonnie Downs got involved in the touchdowns. Mike Oliver had one. And we see Jojo Johnson get a little bit of love. The senior gets in the end zone today. Defensively, Ray Walden was everywhere. Nine tackles for him, two for a loss, one sack. Eichenberg was out there today. We see Conley doing his job as well. Interception, we had a couple. We see one from Doug Hall. We see one from Philip Antonio. Sack perspective, we had a couple as well. We see Jacob Brown, Noah Anderson, Thomas Carroll, Cole McCree, Ray Walden, Clay Stroop, and Jason Capps all get involved today. 
it was total domination, but honestly, we expected it. It's ODU. They're not a primetime program. And look, being the number six team in the nation means you should be blowing out opponents that are this bad. And we did just that. We're rounding out the last couple of weeks of the season, but I hope that we have a couple of things. One, continued wins. And two, pick up some recruits. Safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. I'll catch you guys in the next one.